like to watch CNN's sister station, HLN, in the morning because I like to know what the masses are being told to care about by someone cute and perky. And boy, did I hear a story and a half the other day. This is the story I was listening to while I was brushing my teeth, along with millions of other Americans. It was a story about a family in Nebraska who all care about each other very much. The son is 32 and gay. His husband is 29. And they want a baby very, very badly. But since neither of them can make eggs or have a womb, obviously they can't do it the old-fashioned way. They are missing parts. But you know who has those parts? The 32-year-old son's mother. Sure, she's 61, but she's been taking care of herself. To the point where everyone always jokes about how healthy she is. And she loves her son very much and she wants him to have a baby and experience that whole family unit thing. So she went and had herself all tested out to see if she's fit enough to carry a child. And guess what HLN told me? She was healthy enough, even though she's 61. Great, now they just needed to find some eggs. And wouldn't you know, the son's husband has a 25-year-old sister. And when they asked her about it, she said it wasn't a question. She did run it by her husband first, but of course he was okay with it because he loves them all too. They all love each other so much. So now they had the missing parts, the eggs and the womb. It was time to make a baby, HLN said, so they got to work. But even though they had all the parts, it was still nowhere near as easy as the old fashioned way. The son had to do all these things to get his sperm and his sister-in-law had to do all these things to get her eggs. It's a long process involving laboratories and lots of machines. But at the end of the day, they were able to do it. They made three clots of cells capable of growing into healthy human beings. So they implanted the healthiest one into grandma and she delivered her granddaughter out of her very own parts. The son and his husband finally have a baby that is now their sister on many levels. And they all lived happily ever after. This is the story I was told, pretty much in this happy tone, while brushing my teeth, along with millions of other Americans. Now for the story you won't hear on HLN. And that's the story of the other two clots of cells still sitting on blocks of ice that they didn't choose. The ones who maybe weren't as healthy as the chosen one, but who still can become humans nonetheless. And will one day, far into the future, when the rest of us schmucks are long gone, yes, they and their kind will laugh and laugh about how they were the rejected ones, the babies on nice, but they are the ones who will end up ruling the future. The babies on ice rule the universe. That's the story HLN won't tell you. That's the story you'll only hear here. And that's my spin on it.